Good afternoon, everybody. We are back in the kitchen, Unk's kitchen, Uncle Dibs' kitchen. I'm Uncle Dibs. Listen, I thought we were about to get a little bit of a warm spell here in Texas, but we just had a huge cold front hit this morning. So you already know, I like to have something going on in the oven just to warm up, heat up the house a little bit. And the perfect thing for that is a pot roast, all right? This is my Sunday pot roast. I'm calling it Sunday pot roast, even though it's Thursday today. We're gonna be able to eat off this until Sunday, okay? So I'm making my Uncle Dibs Sunday pot roast to warm you up wherever you're at. If it's cold here in Texas, I know it's probably cold wherever you're at. So let me know where you're tuned in from. Let me know where you're watching from, whether you're at the job, working from home, school, or just chilling at the crib. It might be your day off. Whatever the case may be, let me know where you're tuned in from. Let Uncle know where you're watching from because I would love to know what is going on in your kitchen. But here we go. The ingredients for this Sunday pot roast are very, very easy and simple. So we're gonna get into it right now. If you're watching this replay on YouTube, shout out to YouTube as well. North Carolina from work, Michigan. I know it's cold up there. South Carolina, shout out to everybody tuned in right now. While you're in here, please double tap the screen, hit the like button so we can get some more people in here. And I appreciate everybody sending a rose. C Blaze 23, thank you for sending a rose. Hey, Rebecca, I got some good news. I got some good news, Rebecca. The Texas Steak Rub is back in stock, okay? So you're the first to know. Just set it back live, all right? So listen, this is what I'm making right now. I'm making a very, very simple, easy recipe. It's my Sunday pot roast. The ingredients is, I got my roast right here, of course, beef, okay? Then the veggies I have are some onions, potatoes, all I did was just chop these up, some carrots, and this is all gonna go in the roast, okay? I'm gonna show you guys how I do this from top to bottom, all right? I got also a little garlic, because we always cook with garlic in my kitchen. Appreciate everybody hitting that. Double tapping the screen, we're almost at 500 likes. Thank you so much, so much for hitting that screen, getting um sliced up, I appreciate it. I have a little bit of soy sauce too as well, low sodium soy sauce, and then also some red wine. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna deglaze this Dutch oven as well. Then I also have two cups of beef broth. Once again, this is my, this is my Sunday pot roast. This is what I like to make when it's a little cold outside. I know Rebecca knows it's a little cold outside. Woke up this morning, it was 70 degrees yesterday in Houston. Now it's like 45. Rebecca said, I told my sister about you and she ordered some too. Thank you so much, thank you so much. Thank you, Rebecca. Buffalo, New York, I know it's cold up there. All right, so to get started, Sunday pot roast. I got my Dutch oven right now in high heat, all right? While that's warming up, I'm gonna take this seasoning right here. This is the last ingredient, probably the most important ingredient. My Uncle Dibs Texas Steak Rub, all right? I got my roast right here, and all I'm gonna do is put a generous amount of this Texas Steak Rub right on this roast. Now here's a little tip for you guys. The thicker your meat is, the more seasoning you're gonna need to use, okay? You're not gonna over season it. The thicker it is, the more seasoning you need to use so it can penetrate that meat, okay? Get your mind out the gutter. All right. So I'm seasoning up one side for now. Next thing I do, I'm gonna do, I've had this uh, Dutch oven on, heat, on high heat already before I started the live. I'm gonna add some olive oil. You can use canola oil as well. You can use vegetable oil too as well. Yo, we almost had 2,000 likes. Everybody double tap that screen. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Welcome to Uncle Dib's Kitchen. I'm doing my Sunday pot roast. You tuned in just in time. All right, so I got my roast right there. I'm gonna dump it right in the Dutch oven, okay? Just like this, to get a nice sear on there. Put some of that seasoning on top. And then now, with that Texas steak rub, I'm gonna season up that other side too as well, y'all. Appreciate y'all watching, everybody sharing the live, sending gifts, thank you so much. And everybody double tapping that screen. I appreciate it so, so very much. My name is Uncle Dibs. I'm live in my kitchen. I'm in Texas. It's a little cold right now. So I decided to heat things up. I'm making my Sunday pot roast on a Thursday because I'm going to eat off this until Sunday. 
Another thing to keep note, you want your oven set at 350. After I sear this meat, I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna throw my vegetables in there. I'm gonna show you how we make this a pot roast, okay? Then we're gonna cover it and then throw it right in the oven at 350 for two hours. And you're gonna have this hunk of meat is gonna shred like paper. I'm telling you, it's gonna be the best meal. Everybody just comes with their spoon, dump it in their bowl, and you're good to go. With the onions in there, the potatoes, the carrots, it's literally a complete, it's the definition of a one pot meal. Dallas in the house, if you're just now tuned in, let me know where you're watching from. Let me know where you're tuned in from. We got Dallas in here, we got Houston in here, we got Buffalo. I think we said we got North Carolina in here too as well. We have at, we're over 4,000 likes too as well. Let's try to get up to 5,000. If you just now tuned in, double tap that screen, hit the like button. You tuned in just in time. I just dropped my roast in the Dutch oven. The only seasoning I used was my Texas steak rub. Michigan, Boston, Arkansas, VA, DC, Florida, Yonkers, New York, Leslie up in New Jersey, Ohio, California, Anthony, Ohio, Cali, a lot of Ohio in here, Charlotte, shout out to everybody tuned in, appreciate y'all joining the live, this whole recipe too, if you, if you just now joined, is on my site, UncleDibs.com, all you gotta do is hit my name up there, the screen will come up, hit that link right there, that link in the bio right there, it'll take you right to my website, okay, and all my recipes are on this website, okay. What part of Texas? I'm in Houston, Texas. H-Town. Nashville, Tennessee, I see you. Y'all, we have over 5,000 likes. Thank you so much for double tapping that screen and sending those likes. I appreciate y'all so much. So much, thank you. You think we can get it to six? Let's try to get it to six, y'all. All right, so over high heat, I have this roast searing right now. We're not trying to cook it all the way. We just want some color on that roast. It's a big hunk of meat, you understand? So we're just searing that right now. And this is a Cuisine Art Dutch oven. All of my appliances that I use, all my cookware, everything that I use in the kitchen is also on the link in my bio. All you gotta do is go to my Amazon list. Everything I use in the kitchen is on that list, all right? So let's go ahead and turn this. See, we got that nice color right there. That's what we're looking for. And turn it, hit it on the other side, just like that. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. Only about three to five minutes per side. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take that, remove it, set it to the side, then we're gonna deglaze the Dutch oven, add all the goodness. These onions, you can use white onions too, but I had red, so that's what I use. This is a good clean out the fridge recipe too as well. So you got some carrots for something, and you got some leftover carrots that aren't too old. This is a perfect clean out the fridge. Uh, recipe right here. So I got my carrots right here. You know these potatoes, you only need to use like two or three potatoes but you end up buying like five pounds from Costco. This is a good reason to use that bag right there, all right? And also, any red wine or do. I got a cab, but you can use cheap wine, whatever. Whatever you want to use red wine wise, it's on you, okay? Also got my garlic and my soy sauce. But this seasoning right here, just for y'all watching, you can get this seasoning, it's called the Texas Steak Rub. Just back in stock from UncleDibs.com. All you gotta do is hit the link in my bio. And so it is President's Day weekend coming up. I'm gonna let y'all in early. Use the code PREZ30 for 30% off all of my seasonings. Go to my page, just hit my name up top. Hit that link in the bio right there. It'll take you right to my site. And this is the seasoning you're looking for, the Texas Steak Rub, okay? All natural, all good. No preservatives, just flavor. And use that code PREZ30 at checkout, all right? Matter of fact, go ahead and just screenshot that right now because I know you're gonna forget. Screenshot that right now so you have it in your phone so you remember. Screenshot that right now so you have it in your phone so you remember for later on. PREZ30 at UncleDibs.com, y'all. All right, so back to our roast. Like I said, we're not cooking this all the way, y'all. Went almost 10,000 likes, y'all. 10,000. Everybody sending love. I appreciate it. Everybody double tapping the screen. Thank you so much. All right, y'all. We're going to take this roast. This is what it's looking like right now. Set it to the side. 
All right, next. It's time to deglaze this pan, okay? What we're gonna do first, if anybody has any questions, let me know. Just tell me, ask me, because I'm here to teach, not preach. I'm here to teach, not preach. Any questions? All right, cool. Good, 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 good. Now, I'm gonna add my garlic. Garlic right in there. I love cooking with garlic. If you don't love garlic, I feel you, but to me, the more the better. The more the better. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna deglaze everything, all those bits at the bottom, all those little bits at the bottom from that roast, we wanna deglaze it, because all that is is just busting with flavor. So we gotta get it out of there. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna cut my flame, and we're gonna add some red wine. Just like that. Let all those aromatics come in there. Start scraping those bits off just like that. We're gonna cut our flame back on. Medium heat. And then now we're gonna come with the beef broth right up in there. Boom, just like that. Work all that around, get all those bits off. Get everything worked back off in there. And I'm telling you right now, we haven't even put the meat back in, but the flavors are already in the air. It's smelling so good. Guys, we're almost at, almost at 10,000 likes. We're 300 likes away from 10,000. If you double tap in the screen, I appreciate the love and support so much. I'm making my Sunday pot roast. You're tuning in just in time because I'm about to put the roast back in the Dutch oven, y'all. All right. Once it starts to bubble up a little bit, scrape up any bits that you have, even, even some bits on the side. Scrape up anything that you may have because all that is is flavor and you want that in your roast. All right, y'all, we are looking good, we are looking good. I got my veggies over here waiting patiently. Next, we're gonna add the meat back to the Dutch oven, okay? So I got my seared roast right here, and it's going right back in the Dutch oven. Right back where it came from, just like that. Now, I had a little kitchen accident. I spilled my soy sauce, so let me grab some soy sauce real quick because that is the secret ingredient to this. I'm gonna add a little bit of soy sauce. It's a couple of dashes. And that's low sodium soy sauce too as well, okay? Now, we're gonna bring this all together, all right? This is the part you've been waiting for. We're gonna bring this all together. First things first, we're going to add the onions. Then we're going to add the carrots. And then last but not least, the potatoes, just like that. Move everything around. Appreciate everybody tuned in. I hope you guys are having a beautiful week. It is almost a weekend, y'all. Y'all, we had 12,000 likes. I thank you so much for the love. Thank you so much for the love, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all some love back here in a minute. Get everything all nestled in like that. I'm gonna add a tad more beef broth just to come over the top. Excuse me while I come up in here in your kitchen. Low sodium beef broth. I'm just gonna add that right over the top, just like that. Oven is set at 350, okay? 350, and we're gonna let this ride in the oven at 350 for two hours. Do not touch it, don't peek at it, don't try to see what's going on. If you're looking, you ain't cooking, okay? Just trying to get everything nestled in, some of that liquid right there. You're gonna want a nice big Dutch oven for this one, okay? 
not a little one. You need a nice big one. Everyone should have certain things, a Dutch oven, a cast iron skillet. You gotta have this. It's a little cold still. It's not, it's not summertime yet. It's still a little bit cold. So we make dishes like this to heat up the house, warm up the house, you know what I mean? Appreciate that, Lulu. Like I said, very simple dish, and the only seasoning I used for this whole dish, this entire dish, was my Texas steak rub, which is back in stock. You can get this for 30% off at UncleDibs.com. Use the code PREZ, P-E-R-Z, 30 at checkout. Because y'all got me the 13,000 likes this, this afternoon. Use the code P-R-E-Z, 30 at checkout. It's the only season that I used for this whole roast, all right? All you gotta do is hit my name up there. It'll take you, hit that link right there on my page. It'll take you to my site. You're gonna have a little pop-up come up. You can add your email to as well. All I send you is good recipes. And then you're gonna be looking for that Texas steak rub. Go to the seasonings, shop seasonings, and then get that Texas steak rub, all right? And then put this code in. Go ahead and screenshot this code so that you go ahead and remember this, okay? Screenshot, screenshot this code right now at UncleDibs.com. I see the orders coming in, I'm gonna shout you out, but let me put this roast in the oven. It's time to go, y'all. All right, cover this up, cut your heat off. I'm gonna grab some towels here, open my oven up, 350 for two hours, y'all, and this is gonna be lovely. And I'm gonna put this final product on my story, so make sure you follow me and watch my stories, because I'm going to show you what it looks like later on this afternoon. Full recipes at UncleDibs.com, all right? Right up in the oven. Two hours and you're done. Just like that. And listen, I woke up this morning and I saw I'm about 4,000 followers away from 200,000. Once I hit 200,000 followers, I'm gonna do my 200K giveaway, but you have to be subscribed to my site on UncleDibs.com. So when you go to my page right up here, hit that link right there, and you're gonna get a pop-up that looks like this. Put your email in, and you'll be automatically subscribed and entered for that 200K giveaway, all right? But make sure you're following me so you know when I do the giveaway. Y'all, we have 14,000 likes. Thank you so much for the love, y'all. It's a Thursday afternoon, but you're making it feel like Friday, all right? Oh, these orders. Everybody that's putting that code in, P-R-E-Z-3-0. I appreciate y'all so much. I'm gonna get this flavor out to your kitchen very, very, very soon. Let me see who got some. Willie, Angela, Jill, Yvonne, Erica, Roderick. Everybody's putting that code in and getting their flavors right now. And I'm gonna show you what other flavors you can get. You, it's not just for the Texas steak rub, okay? It's not just for this one. You can use this on any of my flavors for my all-purpose straight drop rub. Mardi Gras is coming up. Mardi Gras next week, Fat Tuesday, that King Creole blend. That King Creole blend got no salt. All the flavors for your pastas, your salmon, chicken, everything. Matter of fact, all these seasonings right here are available at UncleDibs.com, but you guys let me know what you want to cook. Let me know what you want to perfect in your kitchen, and I'm going to show you what seasoning you need to get. You guys let me know. Is it steak? Is it oxtail? Is it lamb? Drop it in the comments, and you let me know what you want to cook, and I'm going to show you what you, need to, what you need to use. Is it some wings? That lemon pepper is where it's at. That lemon pepper is where it's at. Is it uh, turkey legs, turkey wings, dirty bird rub? That's what you need. Someone said some oxtail. Get that jerk nice spice. Listen, all of these are all natural spices. No chemicals, no metals, or anything. So go ahead and go to UncleDibs.com right now. Use that code PRZ30 for 30% off, all right? PREZ30. For lamb, you can use that Texas steak rub. Or if you want it spicy, you can go with that jerk nice spice. Chicken and dumplings. I actually have a great recipe for chicken and dumplings on my site, UncleDibs.com, but you can use that Dirty Bird Rub, all right? Dirty Bird Rub is what you need. Go ahead and screenshot that, all right? If you just don't know what to get, but you want to use a seasoning for everything, that Straight Drop All Purpose Rub is what you need, okay? All these are on my site, UncleDibs.com. 
ready to go for you. Make sure you use that code PREZ30. Screenshot it right now so that you can get 30% off your order, okay? This roast right here is going to be on my story a little bit later today. So what time is it now? So it's almost one o'clock here in Houston. So I'm gonna let this ride for about two hours, let it rest. So look, look around four or five o'clock on my story. I'm gonna show you what the final product looks like. This full recipe is on my site. Just look up Sunday Pot Roast on UncleDibs.com and you'll be able to find it. Let me see, Kizzy, hi, this is my first time on here. I can't wait to learn from you. I appreciate you tuning in, Kizzy. And all my recipes are on my site too. I got videos to go with each recipe because some people are more visual learners than they are readers, so I get it. All right, I made videos for each and every recipe. So I'm happy to take this journey with you. Thank you for tuning in, y'all. 14 and a half thousand likes. I can't thank you enough. I don't know if we can get, to, get it to 15. I'm gonna take 14, but either way, thank you for double tapping that screen and showing your support. It is very much appreciated, y'all. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day, whether you're at work, at home, chilling. Just make sure you're eating good, okay? I appreciate that. Also, ooh, this is big, very important. Next week is National Chili Day. It's on Thursday. That big chili style, okay? Speaking of comfort food, that'll be the last day this is in stock. So that big chili style is what you need, okay? Y'all, we got 15K, 15,000 likes. Thank y'all so much. That big chili style is exactly what you need. We got a couple more orders coming in. I'm gonna shout out before I get up out of here once again. The website is UncleDibs.com. Just hit the link in my bio or Google Uncle Dibs. Johnny, Rachel, Patricia, Barbara, Jason. Everybody's using that code. Everyone is using that PRZ30 code and putting their orders in right now. And I'm going to get these to you very, very, very soon. I appreciate y'all so much. Listen, life's about eating good. Life's about enjoying yourself. And I hope you guys enjoyed this live. If you're watching the replay on YouTube, salute to you too as well. Listen, I'll be back on Saturday morning with another recipe. But until then, I have these nice, nice, sultry, sweet aromas from this roast coming in. So let me go ahead and enjoy this, all right? Much love to the orders coming in right now. Once again, the code is PREZ30 at UncleDibs.com. Hit that follow button on the way out. Hit that like button on the way out. And I will see you soon, all right? Peace.